This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 7, Addition and Subtraction of Rational Numbers. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students recognize that the rules for adding and subtracting integers apply to rational numbers. Given a number line, students use arrows to model rational numbers where the length of the arrow is the absolute value of the rational number, and the sign of the rational number is determined by the direction of the arrow with respect to the number line. Students locate the sum p plus q of two rational numbers on a number line by placing the tail of the arrow for q at p and locating p plus q at the head of the arrow. They create an arrow for the difference p minus q by first rewriting the difference as a sum p plus negative q and then locating the sum. Our essential question, what kinds of numbers are rational? And what are the rules for adding and subtracting rational numbers? In exercise one, suppose a seventh grader's birthday is today and she is 12 years old. How old was she three and a half years ago? Write an equation and use a number line to model your answer. So our problem is 12 plus three and a half because the girl is 12 years old and is a positive number. Since we want to go back three and a half years, that is a negative number. So we're going to place the tail of the arrow on 12. Notice that you're not drawing an arrow for 12, you're just placing the arrow on 12. Then we're going to do the number line for the second add end, the Q value. <clears throat> the length of the arrow is the absolute value of negative three and a half which is three and a half. So the arrow will be three and a half units long. The direction of the arrow is left since you are adding a negative number. And so we'll go to the left three and a half. So that's one, two, three and a half. And where we end up is the answer to our problem. And so 12 years plus a negative three and a half years is equal to eight and a half years. So the girl is or was eight and a half years old three and a half years ago. In exercise two, find the following sum using a number line diagram. So our tail of the arrow is going to go on the negative two and a half, and that's going to be between negative two and negative three. The arrow is going to be five units long, and it will point to the right since five is positive. So we go from negative two and a half to negative one and a half to negative half to half to one and a half to two and a half. And that is one, two, three, four, five. And the answer is two and a half. Example two. Our problem is one minus two and one fourth. So first, we're going to rewrite the difference as a sum. The two changes to make are to change subtraction to addition and to use the opposite of the add end, which is going to be plus a negative 2 and 1 fourth. Now, follow the steps to represent the sum. So we place the tail of the arrow on the first add end, which is a positive 1. And then the arrow for the second add end is going to be 2 and a fourth units long and it's going to go to the left since it is a negative number. So in order to move that, it might be easier to change two and a fourth to an improper fraction because on our ruler, they are going by fourths. So that is nine fourths. So our arrow is going to be nine units long since each one is a fourth. So this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. That's one. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. That's a total of two and one more fourth. So that is the total of the nine fourths, which is the negative two and one fourth. The answer is where you end up on your number line. And so the difference of one and two and one fourth is negative one and one fourth. And we rewrote that as a sum and that answer is negative one and one fourth. And it's a good idea to look at your answer and make sure it makes sense. I know my answer is going to be negative because we have more negatives to begin with. 
In exercise three, find the following difference and represent it on a number line. So we're going to start out with our arrow at negative five and a half, which is halfway between negative five and negative six. Our, we're going to rewrite the problem as an addition problem. So we are going to add the opposite. So we are adding a positive eight. Our arrow is going to be eight units long and it's going to point to the right since an eight is positive. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll notice that when I was moving a whole unit, I'm moving from five and a half to four and a half to three and a half, et cetera. And so the answer to the question is positive two and a half. Explain what you drew. So I started out at negative five and a half and I drew a number line or I drew my arrow eight units to the right. And I circled my answer where I ended up on the number line. Why does your arrow point in that direction? The arrow points to the right because the second add end eight is a positive number. Exercise four, find the following sums and differences using a number line model. Pause the video and complete these problems and then resume the video to check your answers. Exercise five, pause the video to complete each problem and then resume to check your answer. In this lesson, you have learned the rules for adding and subtracting integers apply to all rational numbers. The sum of two rational numbers, for example, negative one plus 4.3, can be found on the number line by placing the tail of the arrow at the negative one and locating the head of the arrow, 4.3 units to the right, to arrive at the sum, which is 3.3. To model the difference of two rational numbers on a number line, for example, negative 5.7 minus 3, first rewrite the difference as a sum, negative 5.7 plus negative 3, and then follow the steps for locating a sum. Place a single arrow with its tail at negative 5.7 and the head of the arrow three units to the left to arrive at negative 8.7.